hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about html input types so inside the form element we have the most important input element and it has the type attribute which can have a lot of different value and we can use those different type attribute and we can take different type of user input by default the type attribute has the value as text which defines a single line text field to take the user input and also we can use the type as password and which defines a password field and inside the password field the text are masked using the asterisk or the circle and next we have the input type as submit and this will create one submit button for submitting the form data to a form handler and the form handler is specified in the action attribute of the form element and next we have the input type as reset and this will create one reset button and that will reset all the form values to their default value and next we have the input type as radio and this will create one radio button and the radio button lets a user select only one option from the number of choices so if we have a number of radio button then the user can select only one option from those multiple choices and next we have the input type as checkbox so this will create one checkbox and the checkbox let a user select multiple values or multiple options from a number of choices so unlike the radio button the checkbox allows the user to select multiple options from the choices and next we have the input type as button so this will create one clickable button and we can add the value attribute to add the text that will be shown over that button so the button is a simple clickable button and next we can use the input type as color so the input type as color is used to select a color using the color picker so we have the color picker and we can use the color picker and we can select one specific color and next we have the input type as date so the input type date is used to select a date using the date picker so we have the date picker and we can select one specific date using the date picker and next we have the input type as date time local so the date time local specifies a date and time input field with no time zone so we basically use one date picker and we can use a date picker and we can select date and time and also we can use the input type as email so the input type email is used to input fields that takes an email address as input and also the input type can be file so the file input type defines a file select field and a browse button to upload files so if we click on the choose file button then it will open up the file browser and from here we can select one file and we can upload that file and also the input type can be hidden so the input type hidden defines a hidden input field which will not be visible to a user so you can see we have the hidden input field and the input field is not visible in the web page and also the input type can be month so the input type month allows the user to select a month and a year so we use the date picker and we can select the month and year using the date picker and also we can have the input field where the type can be number so the input type as number defines a numeric input field and also we can set restriction on what numbers are accepted and also we can have the input type as range so the input type range defines a slider control to select a range of value so we can use the slider and we can select on value from the range and also we can set the mean and also we can set the max value that the slider is going to have and also we can have the input type as search so the input type search is used for the search field and a search field behaves 
like a regular text field and also we can use the input type as tail so the input type tail is used for the input fields that takes telephone number as input so inside the input field we can have the telephone numbers as input and also the input type can be time so the input type time allows the user to select a time using the time picker so we have the time picker and from here we can select one specific time and also the input type can be URL so the input type URL is used for the input fields that takes URL address as input and also we can have the input type as week so the input type week allows the user to select a week and year so we basically have the date picker and from here we can select the week and the year so these are all the available type attribute of the input field so we can use all those different type of attribute and we can take so many different type of user input so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you